Hey guys, what's up, it's Iflin here. Today we're gonna to be learning how to farm Trinity in Warframe. Now, Trinity is the best support Warframe in the game. Like, you can't really argue that fact. She can 100% restore your health with the push of a button. Same thing goes for her energy, or your energy. Like, you just get all of your energy back as soon as Trinity presses a button, implying you're playing that way. So, whenever it comes to competition for who's the best support frame, if we're talking about regening energy and health, it is 110% Trinity, literally no argument there, which makes her a frame that a lot of people want. So, we're going to go over how to get her today. So, go to your market, type in Trinity in the uh, top left-hand corner, press on her, and then press this little build button right here. Get the Neuroptics, the chassis, the systems from the boss that we're going to kill. Purchase this blueprint. We're going to craft these. And then we're going to put these together to build the frame itself, right? So we get these parts or these blueprints for the parts from a boss called Ambulus, right? And Ambulus isn't a singular boss. He's actually a little bit difficult to actually get to. He's on Pluto. So you farm this frame on Pluto. So let's go ahead and take a look at the star chart. If we hover over Pluto, you can see that we have the, the boss node right here called Hades, right? And you see that it says 40 animal nav beacons required. And I have 450. Now, you might be like, Flynn, how do I get 40 animal nav beacons? And to do that, basically, you just have to be playing missions on Pluto. And then what's going to happen is many versions of Ambulus are going to spawn in. Now, in the last video, the How to Farm video, I recommend picking up Mesa because Mesa makes killing these guys extremely easy and is also going to make killing this boss extremely easy implying your mod in in the right way because she is a literal minigun yeah minigun so basically playing any mission on here will make these guys spawn in so just go free it like farm some stuff here play a few missions do whatever like do utter terminus it's a defense you're gonna get relics from here you're gonna just farm some things take a chill take it easy level your mesa stuff like that and then you know level her up form her a few times and then try to mimic the builds that I'm showing you right here. So with Mesa, you want to be getting, I believe, 130% power strength at minimum. Um, so if you see like a Prime version or an Umbral version of a mod on here, go ahead and use the regular versions. If you're a newer player, you don't have them. So use regular continuity, use regular intensify, use regular vitality, and use regular flow if you don't have the Prime or Umbral versions, right? So basically with Mesa, you want to hit 130% power strength so you can get that 95% damage reduction on her free, which makes her very, very tanky. But then again, I like to take it a step further and up my power strength by a little bit because then I get a two times damage multiplier on my fourth ability. So I combine on a build where I'm not using like special versions of Intensify, I combine Umbral Intensify or regular Intensify with Power Drift to get my uh, damage multiplier on my four as high as possible. And the same with the damage buff on my two. And then the rest I throw into duration. So I have a little bit of strength on here and I have a buttload of duration because Mace's abilities last a very, very long time. And duration also affects the drain over time on her four. So it takes it down to 3.75 energy per second. So having flow on here is actually really good. And also having some way to regen your energy by using energy plates or something is pretty essential too. Or even if you've got that far into the game where you have your focus and you've got your energizing dash from your Xenoric skill tree, that might also be um, worthwhile as well. So this is the build. Uh, Constitution, R minded Augur Message, Prime Continuity for your duration, Streamline for efficiency, Umbral Intensify and Power Drift for strength, Umbral Vitality for your health, and then Prime Flow for your energy. And I have Cruise Projection on here to reduce enemy armor, but if you're a newer player, you might want to go ahead and throw an Energy Siphon so you can get your energy back a little bit more efficiently. But I'm going to run uh, Cruise Projection because I'm just going to be murdering everything by using energy pads and stuff like that. So yeah. The next thing you want to focus on is your Regulators. Now your Regulators take Pistol Mods. And uh, again, if you don't have the Prime versions, just go ahead and use the regular versions. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm running Hornet Strike, Borrow Diffusion, and Lethal Torrent for my main damage. So that's multi-shot on Borrow Diffusion and Lethal Torrent plus Fire Rate on here as well. That's very important. Prime Pistol Gambit and Prime Target Cracker for crit chance and crit damage. Again, use the regular versions. And then Path Drum Runs and Convulsion for your uh, Elemental Combo. And then the Mika Jelly on here for more Fire Rate because the Regulators fire extremely quickly 
and it's just like a DPS machine. So there's that. Uh, you don't really have to worry too much about your primary, secondary melee because you're just going to be doing all the killing with this stuff. Uh, so that's all I'm really going to show you and we're going to get straight into the boss because it does take a little while to do this boss because you have to like, I think, capture four of them. So it's like it's on, it's kind of on a timer. But if you really want to see the heck builds, it's the same as the one that we used in the last video. It's just elementals you know stuff like that it's very straightforward way of modding the heck it's not the best build in the world but it's something that i see is realistic for newer players so just keep that in mind uh so yeah let's just go ahead and and farm trinity from from ambulus ambulus man he's um very very hard very very difficult uh so let's well not he's not hard it's just it's just time consuming you know we're gonna we're gonna be here for a while right that's that's kind of the kind of the the premise right so get your blueprint from the market and then we farm this that's basically it so yeah let's see so with mesa you're gonna want to get your energy cast your two cast your free and you see the duration of my abilities they're kind of insane 90 seconds on my two and then like 70 seconds on my free so you know i can kind of just cast them and then forget about them but make your way to the boss so with your two, it's a damage bonus, and with your three, it is a uh, it's a what's it called? It's a damage reduction bonus. So you take less damage from all sort of incoming sources. So these guys are practically tickling me, right? So let's go ahead and hit the uh, elevator here. Go ahead, move on down. Spooky elevator. We can kill all these guys with our peacemaker. So you see that they just kind of get deleted like so. You're not going to have the exact same fire rate because I'm using Arcane Velocity on this build, which basically increases my fire rate of my secondaries on critical hit. So that's why they fire so extremely fast. But you can just go in and out of Peacemaker as you please with this build and just hold down your left click and it's going to kill everything that you look at because it is like directional. So you do have to be aiming in the general area. They have to be in your field of view. So you see kind of like this, uh, this what's it called? This... Uh, there's like a little ring around the screen there. So any enemy that walks into that ring is going to be killed. And the more you shoot, then the smaller that ring is going to get, right? So that's kind of like your field of view. But we're coming up to the boss now. Go ahead and kill that guy. So you want to hack this console right here. Like so. Pretty straightforward to hack. You're going to go ahead and kill anything that's shooting at you. Cast your two and you're free again. Regen your energy with pads, with energizing dash, whatever you happen to have. Energy siphon. In the worst case scenario, and we're going to see our ambulance guy spawn in. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to delete him by using our peacemaker, like so. And then we're going to go up and we're going to hack him, right? And then what we have to do is we have to defend this guy. So this this turns into waiting simulator. And you see these little drones? You got to kill those. So don't, don't let... Don't let uh, those drones get near him. I'm just going to make myself comfy because we're going to be here a while. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm leaning back in my chair. So it's like one and a half minutes for every, every, every sort of stage of this fight. So, yeah, keep your energy up by using pads, by using energizing dash, whatever you happen to have. You might want to maybe hold off and jump in straight in the farm trinity because it's, it's, it's kind of boring difficult it's, it's kind of meh it's kind of standing here killing the mans like so they're all dead yeah this is just how you do it efficiently of course you can you can play the game in any way you want but i just figured i was that wasn't even a an energy pad there okay big old dirt but yeah you can, you can farm this however you want you can use your your radial exalted builds that's what i like to call it you can use volt shield you can use frost you can use basically anything that you've got up to this point but Mesa just makes it very, very easy because you just melt the boss and he's dead and he's sitting there and you're killing the little Ospreys. And you need to do this four times. Four times, guys. A total of four times. So she's she's one of the more annoying frames to farm. And believe it or not, it actually used to be uh, used to be Excalibur that was on here. And for some reason, I could rule on Peacemaker there even though I don't have the, uh, the Mesa's, Walt, uh, Mesa's Waltz augment. So that's kind of weird. Uh, that that is weird. I can only roll in a straight line, but I didn't know that you could do that. Hmm. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, man. It's kind of cool. So, still waiting. 
And now what's gonna happen is uh, the man's is gonna take the man's. The man's is now gone. Goodbye, man's. And then uh, the guy, the bad guy, that guy on the right hand side of my screen, he's he's like, haha, we're gonna repair this guy, but uh, spoilers, uh, fucking laser beams come out of the ship because we hacked the ambulance because they they go mad when they're in the ship, but uh, more ambuli, am ambulances, I don't know, incoming ambulance, more of them spawn. There's gonna be two this time, maybe one. Okay, maybe 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 it's one at a time. Oh, please don't tell me it's one at a time. I'd rather we did two at a time. Okay, maybe it's two at a time if you're playing in the grip. I don't know. You might want to play with a grip for this. I don't know. But either way, it's going to be Omega boring. <laughs> you know, like it's it's going to be it's going to be boring no matter how you play it. So, yeah. Kill the guy. There, there's, there's, there, there's really not a lot. Really not a lot else you can do apart from stand in this container and kill the guys. <laughs> you know, like... Man, being entertaining, I'm not even being entertaining, we're just kind of talking shit, but that's that's besides the point, <laughs> you know, like, trying to find out what to talk about, like, for a minute and a half while these things are being hacked is a little bit difficult, and don't say, just, just, it's just edit it, I, I don't want to just edit it, I want to show people what the, what this game is all about, you know, like, like, farming, and, and grinding, and, and waiting, and killing the guys of Mesa, just sniping them as they spawn, and yeah, yay, Mesa, woo! Everything's dead. Mace is fun. Like, what? What? Who needs Trinity whenever you can just use Mace, right? 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 Right. What's that noise? Oh yeah, th this guy is gonna bombard you sometimes as well. So that's a thing too, because he he kind of just tickles your Mace. But if you're smart like me, you craft health restores, and then you can restore your health on the fly by binding it binding your gear slots and your in your in your settings and your and your key bindings. I'm trying to be as informational as possible here guys. You know, it's kind of difficult. A little bit difficult. So let, let me just go ahead and show you. Okay? So I'm going to pause options, customize key bindings, and then you go to go to where is it at? Where is it at? Where is that? Uh I can't see it. I can't see it. There. Gear hotkey 6 7 8 9. So yeah, bind those and then Six, seven, eight, nine is going to be your gear hockey. So that's this is one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, etc. So you can just kind of use them on the fly as you please. So that's a thing. Stop shooting me. Please and thank you. I need more health. Was that energy? That was energy. This is health. So my six is my energy, seven is health, and eight is ammo, and then nine is my shield osprey, apparently. So that's a thing. Please spawn in two. Pretty please. Pretty security team. Oh no! Oh no! Hello? Where's the security team? Where they at though? Where's the ambulance? Rest in peace, security team. Where did they go? It's like they just disappeared. Ah, oh, I only spawned in one. Huge feels bad right now. Huge feels bad. There we go. Awesome. So here's. Here's another minute and a half, guys. Yay! <laughs> yeah, wait, no, it's more like one minute 50 seconds this time. Feels bad. Feels bad. I guess we can kind of run down, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I have no idea, I just play video games. I don't know the ins and outs, I just kill things in the video game. Don't you dare touch my ambulance, that is mine. So yeah, you can kind of just fly in the air with Mesa and that's why I don't like using Mesa's Waltz, which is the augment that allows you to move at like 30% your normal speed. Um, or is it half your normal speed? I don't know. I can't remember. But basically, I just fling myself in the air, and then I press my 4, and I look around, and then everything's dead. So I'm playing 400 DPI with 8 sensitivity in game. For those wondering how I kind of just fling my mouse around a little bit, I'm literally just like throwing my mouse back and forth across my mice mat so that's the thing helps if you have a, a, a large mice pad and a and a mouse with a large sensor you know i recommend picking those i personally right now love steel series mice mats because they're they're huge and they cost the exact same as razor mice mats so you're getting more for your money and uh also corsair keyboards and i'm currently using a benq ec2b but i don't like the plastic feeling on it the plastic feeling on it is kind of uh meh but it's got a great sensor uh, the buttons are kind of mad. I definitely prefer the build quality of the Razer Death Adder, which is what I'm using right now. 
but I have the EC2-B at home, which again, it's a nice ship, it's nice and light, but I, I'm still not... I'm still not sure what mice I want to use. I'm a big FPS player. I'm big on my aiming. I'm big on my flick shots. You know, I like my I like my headshots and stuff like that as well. So, I don't know what mice to get. I'm I'm thinking about getting the final mice, but part of me is a little bit skeptical because it's like streamers and it's like streamers and pro players promoting it. And I know I know, like I I know the ins and outs of promoting stuff. You know, like I, I get it. Like you you just say, oh, the, is the paycheck big enough? You know, like I don't know. It's 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 kind of mad, dude. It's kind of mad, but yeah, we're on our last ambulance now. Fun, fun. Still waiting on the guy. Security team. Oh no. Hello. Hello. Show your face. He's dead again. Wait another ambulance. See, you kind of see how long this boss fight is, right? It's it's pretty pretty long and pretty boring, and you're probably like Flynn. Will you just shut up? No, you spawn too. Are you for real, dude? Are you are you actually serial right now, my man? Biggest of the feels bad. Bible thump and chat. I'm not streaming. Don't worry. It's just the streamer side of me coming out because I'm kind of just memeing at the minute. That's kind of annoying, not gonna lie, because they had it sent in too like a minute ago, then we would have been out of here by now, but whatever, video game. Thank you, video game. <laughs> you get the point. You hack the guys, you protect the guys, and then you go back to your ship, and you do the things and stuff, so. This is more or less just, just your life as, just, this is your life as a Mesa player, it doesn't matter what. What game mood you're playing, you just kind of look in the general direction of the mans and they die, so... That's why Mesa is probably one of the best streams in the game, like just... Just how, how effective she is at killing things and not dying, you know? Like, look at that, you just kind of look in their general direction and they're dead. Pow, right in the kisser. You know, like that's... That's a thing. That is a thing. That reference was from Family Guy, by the way, if anyone watched that, so... Yeah. All, all the guys are dead. Yeah. 40 seconds left. Talking is hard, guys. Very, very, very difficult to talk on the fly. This this here thing right here, this is Xenerix. This is Energizing Dash. This little orb gives me 5 energy per second when I'm standing inside it. And then whenever I leave it, it gives me 5 energy per second over 30 seconds. So for 30 seconds, I have 5 energy per second regen. Let's go ahead and kill that guy in the bubble. Nullifiers are to be in if my existence. Bring a high fire rate weapon to deal with those guys if you don't want to jump into the bubble. Uh, I need to hit a health pad. There we go. Nice. Just don't get shot like I am. I'm kind of playing a little bit rec recklessly right now because I'm trying to, you know, concentrate on talking while also playing a video game. But we should be good to go. Nice. Take, take my ambulance. Do it. Thank you for taking the ambulance. I am very appreciate for taking ambulance. And now, now we watch the pretty fireworks, guys. Now we watch the pretty, the pretty, the pretty fireworks. Sit back, relax. <sighs> Anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Hur hurry up. You can do it. This is almost a 20 minute video on how to farm Mesa. Can we please? Or not Mesa, Trinity. See, this is what. This is me talking for extended periods of time. Yay! Explosions! Yay! Finally! Look! Big explosion! Big success! Yes! Yeah! The guy died. Yeah! So let's get to the exit. <laughs> and then we get our Trinity part! Yeah! Yeah! And we get more animal nav beacons so we can do it again! Yeah! Yeah, trend and neuroptics blueprint. So, chassis, neuroptics share the same drop chance, 32%, and then you have the um, the systems at 28%. So if you get those first time, lucky you, you're just gonna have to sit through that for another 10 minutes. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, but I also don't because you signed up to play a grinding game. But yeah, once you get your stuff, go to uh, go to the thing, go to Warframes, type in Trinity in the top left. Craft your Trinity chassis, neuroptics, and systems, and then, uh, yeah, use those to craft your Trinity. 
and uh, happy happy spamming EV or blessing whichever build you happen to go for so Trinity's the best support for him in the game which kind of makes sense because that's a pain in the ass to farm but you know what if you get yourself free it without wanting to like not play this game ever again then more power to you thank you guys for watching this video I know it was a long one uh like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it subscribe for more warfarin content and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye